Competition for talent is fierce. You all know that. Okay? It's fierce. And in the beginning, when someone comes into your organization, no matter how talented they are, they have no friends, and they really have no skills. We all know what it's like when a project engineer with a nice shiny degree goes out into the job site and gets wrecked by the superintendent of the other company, right? Because he has no idea what he's talking about, right? We all know what that's like. So they have no friends and no skills. Your job is to help them to build their network and help them to develop their skills. Because that's how you're going to get to the treasure of unified teams building profitable projects. So what you've got to do is you've got to sit down with each one of these individuals and you have to ask them, where are you now? And this is a little, val a little matrix that you can use. On the left is this idea of power base, which has to do with the quality of their relationship network. And on the bottom is the value of their skills. So I want to just go through this step by step. And as I'm doing this, you need to think about the people in your organization and where they are on this matrix. You should be able to map everyone onto a matrix like this so that you can understand what you need to do in order to work on their development. Okay. So you have the people in the top left who are networkers. They're the butterflies. They have high people skills, but low technical skills. Okay. Then you have your sitting ducks. <laughs> your sitting ducks have low people skills and low technical skills. Then you have your middling people. They're stuck in the middle. You're glad to have them, right? But they have middling people skills and middling technical skills. Then you have your specialists, right? The dude who just wants to be out on his digger all day, right? Low people skills, <laughs> but very high technical skills. And then you've got your folks who are high people and high technical. Let me just say this for the record. Not everyone can be high people and high technical. It just isn't, it's not, it's not reality. But your job, as a leader of your company, is to work hard at identifying the people who have the potential to be the high people and the high technical, because they're the folks who are going to be taking your position and carrying your legacy on.